He's doing a good job of it. Yeah, he's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Here he That's comes. Austin oh, Hill in the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. Looks like he's moving around, winning that down. That's a good sign. I believe Austin Hill's got this. And the leader, Austin Hill. But keep this in mind. We freeze the field when the caution comes out on the final lap. So NASCAR will have to review to determine who was leading when the caution came out. And, and we'll do everything we can, all the video we have available, to make sure who was leading. Was it the 21 or 16? And here's what happened behind him. That's just a bad scenario. Uh, once you get turned around backwards, if he doesn't get hit in the front end, it probably doesn't get airborne. But it's just you got the other car wedging underneath the front to, to get the lift there. But it's great to see, like Chad talked about, the, the safety innovations of these cars. You know, to, to see Mike just walk right out, that's a, a great sign. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution. Because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Whew, it had to be really close. Yep. The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen, so he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television. But unfortunately, Anthony Alfredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. Wow. I mean, look at that Gosh. car. And look at the grass that's I mean, flying in front of him. Where is the engine? Oh, wow. <laughs> the wow. engine's gone. I mean... This kind of like a, a Michael Walter prank that we saw at Bristol where it's just, or the Jeffrey Bodine, right? Kyle Larson front straightaway here at Daytona years ago. 